Hello, learners, and welcome to week three, I and S. In this week, we are going to do the following. After understanding the different types of maps, we are going to begin to delve into how maps look like and how each and every map has different features that enable us to have a better understanding of them. So in week three, the first class, we're going to start looking at each and every feature separately, and then we're going to perform a task together to identify all the features in a map and how can we differentiate between them depending on their scale, their grid, their directions, and so on. So our objective for the first unit will include the following. You shall demonstrate understanding of direction, demonstrate knowledge about the compass and prevent, present information using symbol. So here we're going to do a activity from the book regarding symbols and how they play a significant role in our understanding of, for instance, over here in this area, there are maybe houses. So how can we represent that? And how do we read a compass rose? If it was inverted, will that impact direction? We're going to discuss this. Um, so yeah, please take your time. You can download the PowerPoint presentation, watch the videos that will help you understand how maps work. Um, also, there's an aspect that we need to know how it's related also to science because there is a magnetic field. Understanding this is very essential. Interactive activities, okay? Please take your time when you're solving the interactive activity. Click on further reading to delve and explore more into direction, self-assessment to assess your knowledge and understanding. Here there is a game uh, that will help you identify the locations on a compass, and I'm sure you already know this. And also, Miss, please take your time when reading what to do next and try to prepare for the next class because preparation is key. In the second class, we are going to demonstrate knowledge and understanding of scale. So now we move from direction to scale, which is scale is another feature in a map. What do I mean by scale? How do I read it? How do I calculate it? Also, make sure you have a ruler with you. I will also remind you after our first class that you all need to have a small ruler with you. It doesn't have to be large. Okay, any ruler that it, that is... Um, that is helpful for you. I prefer the transparent rul rulers because they're easier to see uh, under it, specifically if we we're using a map and you need to calculate a distance from one place to the other. There are some mathematical equations that you probably need to do. So in order to be more um, efficient, let's say you'll need a transparent one. I'll, I'll remind you regarding it. So also similarly, click on the a PowerPoint presentation to delve into it. We're going to watch a video about how a map looks uh, based on a satellite, picturing uh, the globe, taking a video. Um, also here we have an interactive activity. How are we going to calculate scale using a ruler? Take a look here, please must make sure you have a transparent ruler with you in class. And that'll be all for the second lesson. In the third lesson, we will examine the third feature, which is grid referencing. Here, we're going to look at things in a different perspective. We might refer to some mathematical terms, such as the X and Y axis, and how can we put pinpoint the grid based on these points. So I might get you a map. For instance, we're going to look at the picture here, all right, and see the red dot. It will be in a form of a grid. Um, like small boxes. And I will tell you, all right, miss, please find the point here based on X and Y. Maybe when you look at the side, you find out that this is three and this is four. How will you write it? Do we start with three or four? So this will take some time. Don't worry, miss. If it's complicated, we are always ready to extend a lesson. We're going to click on the uh, PowerPoint to view it. This is another sample. This is what I've meant. So here we have the Y axis and here the X axis. We might ask you to pinpoint where is the library. So the library would be here. So it'd be around perhaps one and E. 
But do I start with one? No, I have to start with E because we start with the X axis. We'll discuss this further. And don't worry, it's a very interactive uh, unit. And I truly hope you all enjoy it.